Hi, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Before we start, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for wonderful things that you've done that's giving us this time, being able to study your word. Give us your wisdom that we can share that with one another. And lead all of us in, in our thinking and our understanding in, in what we're doing now through this devotion. In the name of Jesus, amen. <clears throat> I want to share something with you. I've been thinking about it for a while. I notice sometimes I make plans, but without God's will being involved. It's good to make plans for for you, your family, for the present, for the future, but without God's will, may not go so smoothly. It's important to have God's will involved in our plans, or better, let God plan for you, for us. In Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21, it says, you can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. So God's purpose always is successful. He makes better plans for us than even his timing, if we don't understand and it doesn't seem to make sense. But we need to trust God. They're better than ours. <clears throat> he knows so much more so much more than we know ourselves. Sometimes I do make plans for myself, for my life, my education, my employment, my family, housing, even here at the church. But one example is I didn't plan to become a ministry leader for the deaf. But God's will made it happen. In Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. They are the plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a hope for the future and a hope. Praise God for his wisdom his love, and his mercy for us. He created plans for our future. They're the best and the biggest plans that God has created for us is what? Eternal life with him in Jesus Christ in a new heaven and a new earth. I'm going to share a story. <clears throat> Abraham's wife, Sarah, was barren. That means she never had any pregnancies. She was angry with God and frustrated with him because she couldn't have babies. But God had plans for her and Abraham, and they were successful. He gave them a boy. They named him Isaac. So the end, they did have the success of what they needed. We need to trust in God's plan for us. In Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight and smooth. It's okay to make plans, but just be sure that God's will is involved in them. Or better yet, let God plan for you. We need to trust God's plan more than any plans that we make. 
it doesn't matter if we don't understand this, time doesn't seem to make sense. I hope you have learned something new in this devotional. I want to add one last thing. In First Thessalonians, Chapter 5, verse 18 says, Give thanks to God in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. Oh, wow, Lord. It's such a strong devotion to be involved in and sharing. You teach us all these things about family and friends and life and but we need to put aside our own plans and trust in you that you have plans for us that are better more than the best plan we could possibly make we know you're the best and we depend on you and thank you for what the plans you have for us in the future especially eternity with you that's the best we pray that we give you thanks for all you do for us, and we trust in you more and more <clears throat> than before, and we just continue to trust more in you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Bye.